All right, part five, general shop work. All right, section A, the work of the carman welder. The acetylene welding apparatus is um, a system of the valve, the heading um, hose, the torch, is attached to two tanks, one containing acetylene and one co containing oxygen. Operator cause that each of these gases will flow through the hose connection to the torch in the proper quantity to suit the work that is intended to perform with it. The mixed gas following the end of the torch is lit with a proceed with a cone-shaped flame. The intense concentrated heat, the temperature of the flame is estimated to be about 6,300 degrees Fahrenheit. The use of the oxygen Oxyacetylene apparatus. The apparatus is used with the carbon for cutting the parts of them. The steel carb to be renewed, cutting heads with the off the rivets, cutting off the steel, scraps and fitting with the in, in the end of the cracks. Fractures parts with all the classes of the car. Their application appliances. Some of the cars parts of the bed come worn and filled up with the welders and ax, um, car ax, car axle journals. Blake Relfish couplers pockets. The coupler with heads, knuckles, truck columns, posts, ends of bufflers, casting and in fact any part of the car that has been exposed in the friction sufficiently to wear apart the metal and some of the other parts may um, such as the coupler which are worn out of the contour of the welder must build up a metal and while welding it and must gauge it and contour over the time to time in order to that he may bring it up to the exact mcb requirements brake levers are, are continually found to have connection with the pinholes and large and welder fills in the proper side the most expensive of the two railroad side save the railroad re rebuilding the parts of the character by railroad by a car man welder Connecting the apparatus to do the above work, the car man welder must first know how to connect the various and parts of the apparatus, how to adjust it properly, giving it the proper care. Silitane has received the railroad ship the metal cylinders containing from 100 to 300 cubic feet of the gas under pressure, approximately 250 pounds of square inch. The oxygen is furnished in the tank containing 100 to 250 cubic feet of gas under approximately 1,800 pounds of pressure per square inch. The pressure of the gas in these tanks is, too, is much too high for the work for the, for the purpose of getting the correct pressure of the two regulator valves, one for each of the gas and part of the apparatus. These valves are um, very delicate and care must be taken in handling. They are not allowed to fall, but before attaching the regulator, the tank should be open and closed again easily. So to ensure that they are open and slowly after and attaching the regulator valve, the oxygen regulator valve, the hose and the torch are, the to torch are then connected to the, to the tank. The tank valve is then opened slowly all the way to the uh, own way. Then the needle valve is the to 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 torch is um, open all the way after the regulator valve is adjusted immediately the pro proper gas pressure of the torch. Needle valve with the torch is then closed. This method is procedure brought with the flow of the oxygen torch valve that is now retained with the proper pressure. The same procedure is repeated with the exhilitating gas in which, the, uh, after being adjusted with the proper pressure, it's lighted with the burn. It's with the white smoky flame. Torch fl um, fl valve the, for the oxygen is then opened slowly, which when, when aided to the flame and reduces the outline of the cone greater than the heat. Test for excess of oxygen. The operator of the test of flame with the excess of oxygen flow turns off the flow of oxygen until the shadow 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 sh shady sh shadow of the point of the sh shows the, from the cone. Then, with the extreme care, he turns down the action and again do until the shadow point disappears into the own. This test must be given from the time to time as the drop of the pressure in the tank may affect the regulator and slight excess oxygen pressure will be discovered only by this test. Filling in axle journal. Filling in the axle journals makes a great deal of the skill of the experience and built up metals uh, must be perfect in texture in order to work. When the journal is returned, it will be perfect and without rough spots or bubbles and defects of any kind. All right, preheating. Best results of the same of the pairing of the axle journals if the preheat of the, before the acting of the building up of the metal with the dumb. The method of preheating with the most important part of the triangle of the oxygen welder. The axle of the journals are sometimes preheated with the oxygen torch and sometimes in the small furnace of the welder must know the exact degree of the heat of the pressure. Heat of that is proper for the work that he must do on the journal that must avoid with the excessive heat of what would be determined, detrimental with the proper temperature of the journal. Movement of the torch. The movement of the torch over the work must be rotary with a slight up over the forward movement as the parts of each of the rotation flames should be swung in wide circles as the work progress in order to distribute the heat well and avoid the burning. The metal is heated with a soft elastic state where the fire infusion occur of the metal is aided the weld from the welding rod using the welding use of welding metal. The welding rod of the stick metal for the composition of which must be suitable to work in the hand of the surface should be thoroughly fused with the metal and is aided from the welding of the rod. The later, latter should be held closely to the work of the metal from the welding rod must not be dropped through the flame as it, uh, as it may be, might be burned. The journal should, uh, should be allowed to cool quick, slow, cool slowly. 
Welding casting. When heavy castings are cracked, generally are prepared with the welding chipping of the metal. One or more both sides of the cracking into the bevel. One of the side of the crack must be heated with more than other because of the each of the side of the wood could all cool at a different speed with the probably crack of the weld. The radius of the heat of the portion must be greater than the heavy and the light on um, metal material um, parts. When the metal does um, does not flow easily under the flame, the little of the flux compound added with the dipping of the welding rod into occasionally flux should be used sparingly because it has a tendency to make the weld brittle. The welding in the part should be be homogeneous. Um, other use of the oxi- of the pr- apparatus, the using oxalotane and pr- apparatus for the cut of the rivets, the operators must take the care that he burns only the rivet head and does not injure the hole in the sheet. The cutting up and the condemn of the steel car's car must be taken the, that the larger heavy portions when cutting off and do not fall over the operator or any of the, of the workmen around. And the oxalotane ap- apparatus is sometimes used in straightening metal parts not removed from the car. Working conditions Often cracks are found with a seal underframe with the car. The welder must crawl under the car with his torch and work at the times the heat closes to the face. In fact, he often works in such close in so in such close quarters that he features become scorched and he expands expense expenses for overall with greatly increased for the same reason because of the sparks that are continually falling in the burning holes in his clothes. The work of the welder is hazardous to the extent that the must use for the care of the no flame co- comes in contact with the gas tank's explosion of the kind have series of results. Occasionally, there is a flashback in the torch, which occurs with the oxygen being shut off at the once, and the xylitane will burn alone at the tip of the torch. Although they, re- they use red goggles, which are intended to supply the red rays that are ma- missing from the light of the xylitane torch that exists for the other influences detrimental to the eyesight in doing this work. In fact, after using the xylitane apparatus continuously all day, the operator is in, 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 unable to read the newspaper after the, he arrives home at the night. The welding he, um, has such a serious effect on the eyesight that few men care to remain great length of time at this work. All right, the variety of the work. The, the weight of the side, of the, well, the weight, weight of the materials repaired, but the welding varies for the parts, for the size, weight of the axle, to the thinness metal of the roof, the shing or sheath. The, besides the knowledge of the operation of the xylitane apparatus for the car man welder to perform the war intelligently, must know the requirements, conditions attending the use of the material that he repairs, knowing that is possessing, knowing is possessed by most car man welders because of the script with the, from the experience as mechanics repairing carts. Uh, as work of the audiogenous welding carrier, the differential over the radio p- p- paid for other m- um, mechanics, the position of the welder when vacant and generally filled with the mechanic who is seniority gives his best title to the practical ensure of the obtaining of the experienced car to make the each repair that must be done with the exilitant equipment. All right, section B, the work of the layout. The duty of the car main layout of the two plane with the mark location dimension of the mortises, the gains, hold of the groove, the all material of the construction of the passenger and freight car, locomotive of the cat, pilots and tenders, one of the sum of the work obtained is measured with the blueprints on the other work on that must be obtained with the measurement from the blue equipment to which these parts are to be applied. Why material is laid out. The purpose of selecting the marking of the material is to the guy with the car man making machine handing of the ma- ma- matching the um, machining in these parts to suit. Requirements Ex- expedite the work with layer out, maintains the stack of the templates for all the standard parts of the templates are more bo- boards wood of which are shown with the location A on the dimensions of all the mortises, gains, and holes in these parts in principle L on being uh, in actual size. Some of the standard parts of the, the, which this layer of out of the templates are end cells and the end plates and the post of the car liners, the body to cross ties, dra- draft, tra- draft timbers, bodies, and truck bolsters, truck sides, platform, end cells, various other parts for the par- cars, which are trucks, both wood and steel. 54 shows the parts marked with the layer out, laid out, layer out, and milled by the machine hand head. Knowledge of um, car construction. To perform the work intelligent layer out must have the thoroughly knowledge of the construction of the equipment for which he lays out the material the knowledge he has derived from the actual experience in building and repair. Laying out of the passenger car side sill. Laying out of the um, material for the parts of the passenger car that are to be renewed, layer out of the marks of all the material for which the standard templates of the dimension for any of the other parts of the big, uh, must get the, from the car with the, from the blueprints. One of the method taking the measurement from the car is giving in the following description, laying out the passion of the passenger car sides um, sill. Layer out takes over the car and the finished bowl with the square with the wood and about one and one half inches of the stack of about 30 feet long and slightly over the half of the length of the car. After the sheath has been being removed from the car, the layer out takes 
of this pole, working from the center of the car, from the, he marks the exact location to mention for all the mortars for the holes for the side of the post, the post rods on one side of the hole. On the other side of the pole, he marks the location of the mortars for the bridging block of the holes of the body cross side rods. On the third side of the pole, he marks the location of the holes of the bolt, which carry the truss rods, rod anchors, bowler bills, to transoms, cross tie timbers. That hey, he takes the pole of the planning mill and lays out the sill using the pole of the guide with making the uh, mortis with a marking gauge of the center punch of the exact location of all the holes on the for the bolts and rods, making the mainly each hole in mortises with it while its dimensions. 50 or 55 shows the boxcar end plate. Marking the timber the layout locates the mortises with the center of all the holes of the use of the seal square of the marking marks their outline with the scratch all in the center punch of all of the holes so that the swung of the wood between the time is marked and the time the machine hand is for readily to do the work does not make the scratches mark in invisible dimensions for the holes and bolts and rods on the car and the caps are generally 16th of an inch and in order to the holes may be 1 16th of an inch but larger than the bolts or the rods which are no, to pass through them. They are in the marking the dimensions of the material if necessary to layer out the mark to over the, only the first figures of the fraction showing the dimension of the holes. The man, machine hand operating with the more boring machine open seeing a hole marking the figure 13 bores the 13 16th of an inch of a um, hole which on the car with it is a mission for the 3 quarters inch bolt rod. Making the template and making the te and making the template usually the parts for which the layer out believe that it will need often in furniture. Figure 56 shows some of the templates made in layer out lay lay and made by layer out. Layer out selects a plan will work well on season wood and cuts it into actual dimensions of the side of the material that it requires. The greatest amount of framing he drilled for the holes and cuts of the mortises of the side of the material of the template and the actual side of the mortise holes and gains for the neve and any other side of the material that he marks the same way as the marking of the pole. He gives the template a coat of shellac and place it in the template rack for the further future use when required. Considerization of operation, operations to follow. Um, the layout must also at the time the considerization of the condition reliable to confront with the mechanical assembling of the car. The experienced layout mark of the, all the holes of the bolts and rods on the side of the timber that these bolts and the rods in the center enter these because of the bit of the boring machine and the drilling of these holes make some of the defective after the drilling part of the way through the timber. These are especially true on the work of large dimensions where the bit is used with very long and liable bending slightly. Other layout work. When the la working the layout work material for the brake equipment, the tender frames is practically the same that's done with the same manner as laying out the passenger car material. Similar methods you laying out the cabs, but the, maybe, um, but the materials handle a lot generally much shorter. There are a great deal of layer out work done on the cabs because there are normally always new ones in process of construction. Layer out is always thoroughly mechanically generally selected with the position because of the experiencing skill of the actual performance of the car work. Section C, C the work of all the work of the mill, mill machine hand. The mill machine hand depressed the frames of all the lumber done using the construction freight in the passenger car with the local of the centers. He also moved the lumber from all the general purposes of the shop at the various points of the system. Machines brand new different to machines that are used for the milling of this lumber in various variety of the required shape. The setting of the operation carry with the various machines a major part of the work of the mill machine hand. The partial listing of the woodworking machines is generally used as follows. The cutoff saw is large small of the cutting of the material length of the wooden blocks is fixed with the work table. The mechanics to gauge the length of each for the piece. Rip saw is large small using rib um, ripping of the lumber to required width, um, width a ribbit saw is a combination of the teeth that can be used with the same mention machine to cut the groove for the room of full length of the car post for the insur insertion of post rods or similar work work bland saws are used for cutting the frame of the timber exactly according to the markings placed on upon it and layer out with the low man saw can be put in an enormous variety of use of the skill the machine hand can be used cutting off the ripping of the cutting gains and tenions very variety of the grooving and shaping a large four side Planer. A timber side is used for the dressing of the four side of the large timber to be one passage through the machine. The machine has four cylinders and heads on one each of the side but on the top of the on the bottom. The side's heads have four knives of 14 and a quarter inch long with it, which make 3,600 uh, revolutions per minute. The top bottom head have um, four 24 inch knives each with a speed of 3,750 3, revolutions per minute. The gainer of the machine with the cutting all the side of the gains. Cutting is done with the knives revolving at 22,000 revolutions to the minute. The t tensor operates with the revolving knives, cutting the tension for the po car post for the other um, parts. The mortar serves the machine having spindle sp spindles, which are uh, attached with the whole hollow seal square sleeves with the width of the mortars desired inside of the sleeve with an auger bit revolves at the rate of the 1,600 revolutions per minute where when bought against the work, the auger makes the great uh, makes the hole in the sleeve that chiseled into square. The mortise is a cavity generally rectangular in which the tensions are fitted 
The machine hand operates the various sides of the boring machine through its vertical spindles with some of the horizontal spindles which are pulled toward the working operator. The joiner and small planter are used for the straightening and the square edge of the joint. The work is pushed on the hand over the revolving spindle, having the four knob with which of the project above the machine table, the height of the side of the operator, the nature of the four revolving heads that is intended for the use of the milling articles with a special curve of the design, such as a molding or other work where the parts must be decorative as, use well, as well as useful. Each of the four heads can be set with up to four knives revolving at a rate of 380,000 revolutions per minute. The stern layout is a shaping of the, any article that must have be perfectly round, such as a chair like rungs or jack sticks knobs of all kinds plugs pulleys bushings brown pattern work the materials revolved and the machine is about required a speed of 400 to 1500 revolutions per minute material is shaped with the cutting of the tools in the hands of the mechanics um figure 57 shows the mortar sir the shaper has two knives heads projecting the vertical up through the machine table. These heads make the 4,280 40, 4, revolutions per minute. The machine is shaped the shape of the enormous number of the one on the curved car, cur, curved car parts, whereas the matcher does not does work the work straight parts of a core and curved surface. The shaper does the work shaping the parts on which of the body and surfaces are cur discover are curved. Duties of the mechanic. The mechanic must know how to set up and operate all of the machines listed above them. Also, um, they may and many of the others that are parts of the equipment in large shops has a frequent occasion to use all the all of them and often carry the material and parts without one machine to another. Each of the arrangement, each of the requirement of the job is filled with the work of the machine is generally performed by the one of the mechanic, other on helper except with the machining of the lumber. Two heavy, two men sa safety handle when one or more additional helpers exist. Care of the tools. The mechanics required to be able to sharpen all of the saws and cutting knives used in the different machines of the upper up to date shop with the power driven machines that when adjusted properly set in motion automatically file and set band on um, band saws. Circular saws are the grinding for the different shape of the size of the cutting knife, the variety of the work done with the various machines required that each of them have a large complement compl of the knives, different size of the shape, and about five hundred knives are kept uh, for the use of the master of the molding of the machines alone. The greater of the care must be exercised in sharpening the knife, the sharpening and the setting of the saw by because of the woodwork of the machinery operates at much of the higher rate of the speed may metal working machinery these the tools must have the correct edge of the set and temper for that they will be not just stand up to wear and shocks when worked with a speed of 30,000 to 5 100,000 are, are revolutions per minute Kinds and sizes of lumber. The machine hand is requ hand required to work with different kinds of woods that have been listed previously and going into the manufacturer repair of the freight of the equipment and passenger train cars. The size of the wood height is required with the handle varies from large sills from 40 foot to 50 feet in length and smallest blocks and wedge wedges or brackets probably one or more in one inches in square which he is fashioned in the bandsaw. Most of the fashioning is made materials various sharpening curves such as the high marking different si si um, styles of the fancing molding the mortars and over the parts that go back into the ma making of the sash door of the cutting of the tenions of the posts of the passenger freight, freight equipment. And all the work he must allow the physical quality of the material with the hardness of the frequency can eyes with the quantity of the rosin, rosin, etc. All the work with the qualities he must understand not only to accomplish the work as well, but, uh, but to ensure that his safety and operation machines running at high speed. The operation of a rip saw. The mechanical selects the best um, suited for the quirk and the handset fastening securely to mandrel. The machine hand raises uh, the saw means with the wheel and the screw attachment until the protrudes over above the saw, saw table to reach the height of the suit, thickness of the material upon which he is working. Then he moves the sliding table which he upright and flanges to move the end of the flat of the saw side to the proper distance from the cutting of the edge of the circle, the circular saw. The distance is determined by the measuring of the teeth of the saw for the material upright flange which must be exactly equal to the width of the piece which he is turning out. The saw revolves against the work that is tore over the operator that must place the timber flat of the work table squarely against the face of the upright table. The care must be taken with the moving of the material against the rapidly revolving teeth of the saw. The timber must be firmly held so that not all out movement of the saw the rest in the fr from the grip of the mechanic of the throw it about the chop of the probably injury to himself and others. The help worker is on the opposite side of the machine helm, and when the plank of the material reaches the his side of the saw, he takes the hold of the insert of the mechanic and pulling it against the saw. The mo much of the safety of the machine operator depends on the care and attention of the helper gives to his work, as it can be understood that he pulls off the long piece that it may be uh, being sawed up to from the table and out of the line. So uh, to give the saw teeth a purchase for the on, it's crossed the grain or wrong a gra angle. The piece cannot be handled with the machine and will fly usually when the grade force in the direction of the operator. Many serious injuries. 
occurred with the wood machine sh um, shop, and according to the accidents and kin um, kinds of them were, were rapidly revolving 2300 revolution a minute per minute caused the wood to split and defective with the portion of the brake loose, throwing it in, in, at, at the operator who is standing directly in the line of fire. Moving its material against the circular saw, the operator must close the um, pay close attention to the work and so that he would hold the board firmly down to the table and also not allow his hands so far forward that they are cut by the saw. The operation of the, of the match, or the following operation of the machine, of the mechanic must set with the, of the cutting of the knife for the or revolving head, like the timber side of the head. These heads are arranged on one end of each side of the work. Occasionally, two sets of the knives are used on, or used on one head. These knives are fastened to the head by bolts. The groove of the machine held the head holds the head of the bolt. The knives hand groove that then are fitted around the bolts. After fastening the knife, the mechanic, mechanic sounds them with a tap, then tap of the wrench and to determine if they are fastened well. He's able to tell when if they ring off the metal, whether they are bolted or tightly, too tight or too loose. If they're fastened too loosely, the blade will, will when its service, will fly from the rapidly revolving head. If it is flash, fastened too fl tightly, it will... Um, it will, in some services, be liable to break into pieces. Selection of knives and proper adjusting sliding up the machine sometimes takes a half a day of the mechanic's time. All right. When placed on the machine, the squared oblong shape of the piece of the material first strikes the set of the knives protruding upward through the surface of the work table, which, in the plane of the required thickness, and this and this comes in under the knife of the revolving head operating horizontally above the material, which is partially. Figure 58 shows a small matcher. Um, um, and uh, which partially fashioned the material, the part, pattern desired to complete by the knives, two vertical heads revolving on one side of each of the material, the machine manufactured molding from the plain piece of the lumber into one op one operation. The material, when placed in the machine, is held down to the work table, driven against the blades by the rollers. Um, the machine can, um, can uh, hand can be any time to pull the lever when lifting the, these rollers and stopping the progress of the material against the knives. This machine requires a considerable belt and the operator of the four different and revolving heads, three, four rollers. All right, figure four, 59, um, 58 show, 59 shows a wood done, wood done on the matcher, the end post, and the freight car sheathing. See the tongues and the grooves. Right, work direction. The machine head does, um, hand does more most most of the work from the shop, um, shop sketches submitted by the, by the foreman. Many of the uh, many of them are poorly drawn with dimensions, sometimes illegible to anyone put. But the machine hand, for the, who from experience is able to see a picture of the sh sh shooters characters and tell what it is wanted. Some of the work is done by the blueprint, some of the work from wooden samples. He must also consider the skill of the measurement of the laying out with his work and in order to do his does not have to re reset and readjust his machine a number of times. Alright, has the machine had handed continually in a dangerous serious condition, generally resulting in loss of the parts of his fingers and in some cases in the entire hand. In fact, machine's hand generally also known by a glance at his hands and most mechanic machine hands who have spent some of the times at the year at the trade have portions of their fingers missing. 50, um, figure 60 shows the joint of the majority of the accidents occur with the flying of the silver piece of the material from the other machine from the contact of the revolving knives, which means severance of the portion of the touch. One instance, uh, one instance of example of the kind of the accidents occurred with the machine hand operated with a small joiner, which required the piece of panel plane, planed mostly most be pushed by the operator directly over the knives um, over the machine revolving at the rate of 3,900 revolutions per minute. After the planing had been perhaps reached the middle of the small piece of the mahogany, it broke. And broken two, and allowing the left hand of the mechanics, which are usually the first to drop the revolving blades of the machine, which result with his hand being severed between the knuckles and the wrist. The writer in his mill shop picked up with a portion of the finger of the machine hand, whose hand was coming into contact with the blade in the shape of the because of the unexpected jerk of the yielding material. He was holding against them. The shape is one of the most dangerous machines. Shaper is one of the most dangerous machines to work with, as the nature of the work done is in construction, preventing it applies application of adequate safeguards. A machine hand, uh, hand is sometimes in danger with the flying of the knife, the breaking loose of the revolving head of the various machines. In one instance, um, the operator of the match for four steel cutting blades flew with the machine in rapid succession. Luckily, he didn't strike no one. These blades left the machine with a velocity of approaching 10,000 feet per minute, which is sufficiently to cause the fatality where they strike a workman in a vital spot. Injury of the silvers result in the very often blood position, poisoning, which puts the machine hand out of the work for a long period of time. He usually receives no compensation for the time lost until after his return from work sometime, um, work, for work sometime. Our responsibility, the machine hand is responsible for the work that he turns out with rarely deceives 
receive the directions as the method to be used. The form of the supervisor gives them the order to discuss to receive the material from any of the departments for the machine hand fills it without further instruction. The foreman, however, knows the length of the time that it should take to finish each of the job. When giving the order to the machine head, he makes the mental note of when it should be completed. At some um, some some small points, whether there is no large power hose or working machinery is run by a 15 horsepower gasoline engine, which must be taken care of the and adjusted out by the mill hand. It is the shop that is responsible for the cleaning and the oil getting no care of the machine. Also, use of his own tools, which are or follows as various sizes of the wrenches from one quarter inch to one inch monkey wrench, the large small oil can hand saw, one large small square bevel square, and a divider and compass, two foot, two foot and six foot rule, large and smaller hammer. Most machines' hands having some previous time between time being in the car mechanics usually have a set of tools for that work. In performance of the work of the turning lathe, if the mechanic must be used the set of special turning tools, the set of tools usually used by some of the mechanics is doing this work is valued at approximately fifty five fifty five dollars. Are the machine handle f hand feeds the sense of the responsibility for the own safety safety of those around him? The machine hand helpers uh, shares greatly in the responsibility and fact of the careless help of the additional hazard of the middle machine, machine shop. Besides being thoroughly mechanical exemptional skill in the art of measuring the machine man must handle the possess the power of concentration clarity with the vision and habit of the close careful attention to his work. Work, um, section D, Workman of the Car Millwright. The car, millman, uh, car man millwright hanging, shafting, applied with the keeping and repairing of the pulleys, belting through the witch for the power of the transmitted with the shop machinery. New machines for the time to time are installed with the millwright layouts for the construction form of the great foundation of these machines are placed on and it directs, takes down the scaffolding you for the tearing down of the tall structures such as smokestacks and like whence the, um, such um, work is done with the shop force of the wind, the pipes from the conveyance, for the shaving of the mill machines, the siphon to the draw of them are built in the mill right, erects them, takes them down a great amount of the scaffolding needed to assist the sheet metal work is putting the piping together and may cause the mill right design to apply the suspension of the pipes in this kind. Laying out machine and foundation, the millwright needs with the special skill with the experience of the proper layout with the concrete sponge um, foundation on which the large machines are set. Sometimes the blueprints are furnished from the doing the work with but often the millwright himself that decides the size, depth of the foundation required. Most of the machines are bolted down the concrete foundation means with the steel bolts which are set in the concrete case by the mill rider. Accuracy and bolt setting. It is not difficult to understand the setting of these fi um, these bolts must be perfectly accurate because of the fact of these uh, that that after the concrete is set the, that they cannot be moved. The holes that are in part of the machine casting cannot be moved, nor additional holes be drilled. Therefore, it will be seen that all the bolts must be set in precision position so that it, um, when the machine is let down on them, they will um, perfectly strike the holes in the machine that they will intend to pass through. One other very important requirement is that the bolts must be so passed within the machine when the position is exactly parallel to the shafting from whence the power is to come. The machine is even a fraction of an inch out of the parallel. Its pulleys and gears will not be at the right angles to the shafting. The um, to angles to the shafting when when the operation of the belt it will be continually sliding off the pulleys. Very often the machine will become will be so distant by shafting that it very, with the difference increase the difficulty of the accurate measurement. Other work, millwright, other design side of the pulleys and dimension of the belting machine must have them do this. Um, must have the knowledge and the speed of which the machine was required to operate the strain and stress for the load of the belt. Must carry the speed of the machine that's determined by the speed with which the shafting rotates the side of the shaft pulley from the millwright. Apply the side of the pulley gearing on the machine must also be taken with the consideration the millwright is designed the size of the pulley that will fit on the shafting. The work of the carman millwright is not confined to the car department and directs the machine for the taking the care of the shafting, pulleys, belting, other over the the entire shop. Every good side of the show, shop employs one or uh, more millwrights. All right, hazards. The work of the carman millwright is extremely hazardous at the time that he must climb to the top of the scaffolding, which is erected in order to raise the higher and often most work close to the roof of the inside of the forge foundry and similar shops, where he is in danger of being overcome with the fumes of the coal gas falling on the floor from the, of the shop. He must at times work on the outside of the severe weather. His services are often required in emergency. In an instance of the, this site cited in one of the rail shops, the tall wooden scaffolding had been erected close to the smokestack during the night. The heavy rain, the wind storm came up, but the scaffolding was blown out against the smoke of the sack of the smoke sack oscillated with the wind with every time that moved away from the point of the contact with the scaffold the frame with work of scaffolding served somewhat as the pall and heavy strong enough that would prevent it from returning to the upright position of course the weight of the power of the smoke sack prevented any immediate detrimental effect but the condition was considered so dangerous that 
The millwright and his assistants were called out of his out as soon as possible during the height, height of the rainstorm. Fastened the blocks, tackled the scaffolding, pulled it in back, and then positioned, secured it, climbing at night on the wooden scaffolding. It wet and rained in the high wind when it was possible that the scaffolding might collapse and made it an extremely hazardous job. All right, responsibility, millwright, it's fun, res, millwright, responsibility, proper operation, shafting, pulleys, belting, belting into the accurate racks, and then moving the new machine in the position, supervising the machine, with the, of course, the responsibility, the safety of the machine, while being set in the position, the value of these machines used in the railroad shop, the bronze for the thousands of dollars, and the erection of the scaffolding is responsible, and so far that it must be substantial and safe for him or another recommend to do their work on. Uh, Upon and he feels that the responsibility for the care of the uh, makes must take of the applying of the belting and the safety of the operator of the most various machines that depend on the security. Um, personal qualities and training: the car, car man Millwright generally has long experience with his layer as layer out who received the training necessary to accurately lay out the template poles with which he is used engaging in the position of the bolts to hold down the machines of their foundation. He also he had a considerable experience in the playing of the mill with which he has become familiar with the methods of spending, shafting, application of the pulleys, and care of the belts. The greater number of the machines set in the planning of the milling has been given an opportunity to say the relationship of the size of the pulleys to the speed of the machine, the weight of the belt required to carry the different loads. He must be able to compute the ratio of the revolution of one pulley to another must understand the station. Strain and stress of the shafting must be with his sustain and apply with the proper number of the suspension brackets to hold. He must understand the application and lubrication of the bearings in which the shafting rotates. He must understand the different methods of the passing pulley to the shafting. He is often required to pass judgment of the other type of the pulleys required by the sum of the machines. With, that is whether they would be wood or steel. To the successful mill right with the mechanic must have the taste for engineering mathematics knowledge of each of them being necessary in order to lay out the proper foundation for each of the machine set and properly place and give it the proper pulley, shafting, and belting of the, for the transmission of the power required to operate it. All right, section E, the work of the pattern maker. The patterns for the casting, or casting well, all the machinery that is part of the equipment of the railroad are made of the pattern maker. They include the pattern every part of the locomotive, of every metal part, part of the car work equipment. It has also makes the pattern for the casting, even the bridge of the bad buildings and patterns for the rails, rail fillers, tie plates, frogs, every casting required of the right of way. This includes the casting for the switches, block signal equipment. Some of the standard patterns may be the pattern uh, maker or casting of the following of the cylinder, cylinder bushings are also cases of the locomotives. Figure 61 shows the sketch of a pattern of locomotive cylinder head. The cylinder snap rings, main rod bearings, journal bearing, bearings, rail all of other all of all kinds of cross heads, steam belt, pipes, gas pipes, smoke stacks, and extension great rods, cylinder heads. The pattern of the maker makes patterns in casting the gray iron, steel, brass, and aluminum. Before constructing the pattern, the pattern must be made that have made it. The um, picture of the finished casting must be built with something that would produce it. Um, he does all the work from the blueprints, but very often they um, do not go into sufficient detail all the pattern that would be result of the working precisely accurate according to the blueprint and finish of the wood. In many cases, it would not be pr pra practical for the use of the forming of the mold. In the construction of the pattern, ma pattern makers use the set of the, the set of the tools somewhat um, similar to those used by the passenger carman, with the exemption that he must be have the greater number of the group gouges pairing tools. Also a set of tools using turning material the turning lathe. The pattern maker does all the same. All his own lathe work, bandsaw work. Some of the patterns which he constructs are very large. Such a pair of locomotive cylinders are very large driven wheels or other very small or small dyed stamp castings. Pattern making is a distinct trade requiring grayscale in the woodwork and combining the dust of the finest joinery work and the art of the wood carving the ability to read and interpret the most complicated mechanical drawings. Knowledge of molding essentials. In construction of the pattern, the pattern maker must have the knowledge of the method to use the molding, and he must understand that the nature of the metal, the rate of the shrinkage when cooling, is different with the different materials. Besides allowing the shrinkage of the pattern, the maker must allow the sufficient metal for the finishing of the machine part, where in his judgment, the necessary, he allows the stock from the holding, the casing, and the layer of the planner, shape of the must construct the pattern, pattern in the manner that um, molds the casting can be made in an expeditious manner, always when the practical of the pattern should um, when it always practical, the pattern should be formed so to be enabled the casting is to be formed with a mold parted into one place only. There is only this is often a great difference in the time required to make the molds than a handy pattern or, or from a pattern made with the pattern maker, which does not fully understand the conditions attending the making of the mold. Knowledge of metals. The pattern maker must know when it's necessary to make the core prints with the projection of the pattern used to make the reset of the uh, mold to accommodate the corresponding projections of the core of the casting. You must understand the rapidity of which the different metals cool so internal stresses of the casting will be avoided. 
Prepare and join in the making of the large portion of the necessary for hand to glue the together planks of the wood as required with the dimension before beginning with the turn. Form the pattern when the white pine wood is generally used for the construction of the pattern. The different parts of it are to get held together with the dovetailing nails, glue, wrapping, and the dowel plates. Pat metal patterns. Patterns that are used continuously are often made of the metal. The matter, m pattern maker um, can construct the pattern from which these metal ca patterns are cast. Oftentimes, the pattern which are the completed with which have they been have but little resemblance of the casting is intended to produce. The pattern maker must have the knowledge of the mechanical drawing in order to ha um, can they, he can make a sketch of the working details of the job of the bank from the blueprint so that he makes a comprehensive idea of the pattern he is built. The pattern maker makes every part of the pattern himself when finished with the skeletons of the painting. Besides the construction of the new pattern, the pattern maker repairs the old pattern, alters them to meet the change condition of the new development. He works under the no specific supervision as received the inspection and test when actually used to produce the molds. And in fact, very often the foreman um, forms the department in which the pattern maker works. Is not a pattern maker and has very little knowledge of that work. The work of the pattern maker is not particularly strenuous, but it requires the greatest, greatest, greatest skill to use the edge of the tools. He must be able to concentrate and give the strict attention to his work as it is to such accurate nature of this to require it. Patterns made by the pattern maker are generally used the making the casting of the manufactured outside foundries. And this is few railroads do all their own foundry work. That, that the pattern not made by the railroad pattern maker maker are greater in the variety that those made with the pattern makers are in other industries. And moving on to part six, the worker of the carman painter.